In question number 7a, it says explain why you cannot divide out the x squared in the numerator with x squared in the denominator. So basically they're asking why we cannot do this cancellation. So cancel this out and cancel this out. Okay, so we cannot, let's make it clear, we cannot do that. So why can't we? What's the explanation for that? Well, when we cancel, when we're talking about fractions, we can only cancel out times and divides. Okay, and this here, this x squared, both of these x squareds, these are both addition and subtraction elements. They are not factors, they are not times and divide pieces. Fractions are all about times and divide, so we cannot cancel those out. So we can factor, and once we factor, we now have times and divide pieces. So these pieces then can definitely, these pieces can definitely cancel out. Okay, so those now can cancel because there is a multiplication piece in here. Okay, so once we group them like this, groups are multiplication, so we can now cancel out the times and divide factors that we have here. For part B, we can ask what well, the question asks what are, uh, how, explain how to determine non permissible values and state the non permissible values. So when we talk about non permissible values, we're talking about just the denominators. We only look at the denominators. And we can find the restrictions or non permissible values before we cancel out. So in this case here, when we talk about the non permissible values, we're talking about the denominator here, x plus 3, x minus 1, and the non permissible values are when the x's that make the denominator equal to 0. So x cannot be negative 3 because if we plug negative 3 into the first bracket, we get 0. And if we, we can't, it cannot be positive 1 as well. Now, once we have stated the restrictions, now we can cancel out these factors. Okay, so these factors now can cancel out. That restriction remains though because that now represents a hole in the graph. So part C says explain how to simplify rational expression and simplify the rational <coughs> expression. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to factor. That's what we've done here. We're going to factor this all out and then we cancel out the common factors and we're left with then the simplified expression x plus 1 in the numerator and x plus 3 in the denominator. 